Hello, hello, hello. So if you've seen my previous video of how to clean your air still after use, every now and then, obviously you need to do a deep clean. I've already explained about using citric acid or Coca-Cola um, to clean the actual tube itself, but there are times, depending on where you store it as well, and also where you use it, the actual head itself can get quite dusty and dirty, and then it could do with a bit of a clean. Now, be warned, if you, um, don't own a soldering iron, let's say. If you don't own a soldering iron, you shouldn't be doing this. Now, you don't need a soldering iron, but more the fact that if you own a soldering iron, you like to fiddle or you like to fix or you like to construct things, and therefore this is great for you. If you're not that type of person, do not, and I repeat, do not undo this still. If you do, you could break it or you won't be able to put it back together again, okay? So be warned. Obviously, if you do undo this, it's at your risk so if in tool, unsure, don't do it. So, so quite simply, <clears throat> there's no way of anything getting inside here. So this do not undo um, for general cleaning. Obviously, if, if you're fixing it, that's different. But that's not what this video is about. From here, generally, the only things you need to clean is potentially the fan or the actual um, tube slash um, heat sink, really, is what you can say what it is. Um, to do that, there's a screw, a screw, and a screw. They can be a little bit fiddly because they can catch on the sides of here, but unscrew those, um, and then you can lift this off. So, now, the other thing you want to do is remove the end spout. If though yours is built in like this, which is a different version, you can see it's a lot, lot smaller, but it's actually built in. Well, obviously you can't remove that. You can look at the bottom. You'll, you'll know if it can be removed or not. Once you've undone those screws, you can then pop, and that can be a little bit tricky. You've usually got some lugs down here, which literally hold it into the, the spout there. So it is a bit of a pull, and sometimes they crack. This one didn't. So, first thing is in here, uh, it's a bit groggy and a bit dusty. Um, might even get cobwebs depending on where you keep it. So, great thing to clean, surface wipes. So literally take your antibacterial surface wipe, or two, and then just give it a bit of a wipe. Wipe all the way around it. And <clears throat> as you can see, a little bit mucky and get everywhere. Now obviously it's going to be up to you how much you want to clean this. Um, you could technically put this in soapy dishwasher liquid and wash it up. There are a couple of rivets though that aren't rust proof so they will rust if you don't dry it properly so just be warned of that but uh, it's up to you. In today it's your still. So next bit's the fan. Now that's just got a uh, like a ring clip if you get um, a screwdriver, flat blade, you can pop that up. Uh, it's relatively easy to put back on again. But what I tend to do is just wipe all of the blades and try and get underneath them as well, because they can get quite dusty and dirty. Once you've done that, obviously the actual plastic itself, working around there, getting that all clean. And depending on your model, some of them, like this, have a rubber connector, like a T-junction that's on there that helps feed it down. Um, this one hasn't. It's got an extended bit of an aluminium, which then goes down at a, a slight bit different angle. So some will have this, some won't. To get the actual coil off, it's a little bit unnerving. You put your finger, I advise, underneath here and push up, and then it slowly raises. And then what you can do is then put your finger under here and just gently Rock it back and forwards until it will pop off. There are different versions to this. Again, this one has got a heat sink over it, whereas this version doesn't. Now from here, see mine's relatively clean. You could do with a little bit of a wipe over in certain areas of here, but a lot of it's more dust. So um, knocking it against your hand outside, or if you've got an air can, vacuum cleaner, any of these sort of things will help. Um, it's quite good. Now you can obviously see a lot more plastic and if I take a clean wipe and wipe there and here and there, yeah, 
you can see that obviously this one desperately needed a clean. So it's giving it a good old clean. You can, as I said before, you can take off the fan if you want to, or the fan blades. Um, you can wipe down the actual motor itself. I wouldn't recommend undoing the two bolts that hold down the motor itself. They will bolt into down here. And yes, you can then remove this and clean under the plastic plate, but because it's so sealed, there should be no dust or dirt getting underneath there. Um, so there should be no need to by all means do if you want to. At the end of the day, it's your device, so you clean it how you see fit. And that's generally about it. Now, I'm not going to do a proper job, although I probably could do with it. To put it back in again, it's just lowering it down. It just fit over the actual uh, fan blades. Locate the hole, and then gently, very gently, wiggle it backwards or forwards and pushing down very, very gently. You need to make sure that this is lined up in the hole. And sometimes the actual plastic struts that come up, there'll be three of them, and they will lock inside the, the um, blades, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so it can be a little bit tricky finding the right location. That looks good. That spins. Yep. And then I'm going to put my T back in there. Push this back on and close. Now, what I would recommend though, don't do what I've just done. Obviously, some parts were still going to be wet from your wipes. So leave it all exposed, leave it all out to naturally air dry, a couple of hours, sort of thing like that, then put it back together again. And then once you've put it back together again, you've put your three screws, what I would recommend is getting a pen or a pencil or even just blowing with your hand. Basically, you want to make sure that that blade or the, uh, the fan blades move freely before you switch it on. Because if that is stuck in any way, resting against the output tube or the casing, if you switch it on, that could smash it. So, spinning nicely. So I know this is fine to be plugged in and used. And that's it. That is how you can do a deep clean of your air still.